Alan, that river is the Little Calumet River right behind me right now. And as this search stretches into day three, nobody is giving up hope just yet of finding Kyron Carter alive, least of all his mother. I just want him to come back home safe. Everybody that he's been talking about is here. I just want him to see them. See everybody. Everybody is his extended family in town to celebrate an engagement. Kyron, who is autistic and generally nonverbal, came in from Kansas City and left the Best Western Hotel Saturday afternoon around 1230, dressed only in a blue t-shirt, shorts, and no shoes. We know that he's a fighter and and uh, um, I know we know he's going to do his, his best for sure. Um, so we're just we're just hoping to, to find him soon. Police say the family noticed his absence right away and law enforcement region wide was soon on the scene. Today, canines trained to pick up scents on the water were deployed by the Coast Guard. Let him know he has his chicken nuggets and his Oreo cookies. He calls them black cookies. He has a Sprite. He have whatever you want. You can see the emotion on that mother's face, so much anguish, that anguish shared by the family that's still here right now. The police presence has kind of quieted down at this hour, but we are told that if Chiron is not found tonight, this search begins again at first light tomorrow.